Maceo. It's great to be here. Thank you so much. Uh, look forward to talking to all of you. Thank you. The, uh, the approach I tried to take uh, in directing this movie was, was one of, um, of, of authenticity and trying to make the world look and feel as real as possible, which I know sounds stupid because of course that's what you do, but it was really important that something that was such a fantasy uh, not feel so fantastic that you didn't believe it. And uh, I knew this would be the first Star Wars movie for a lot of people, and it was really important that you love the characters, the new characters, and not, uh, not have to study Star Wars, or have memorized, or even seen it before, to follow the story of, of Daisy's character and of John's character. Um, well, I would say to any audience that doesn't uh, know or hasn't yet seen Star Wars, um, the same thing that a friend of mine says to me when I tell him there's a movie I have not seen or a book I have not yet read, he always says, oh, I'm so jealous. And it's because he knows that I get to experience this thing for the first time. And there is, I think, an incredible power in, in what Star Wars is about. Uh, it's not just characters that make you laugh or a romantic adventure. Uh, it's also a story about, about good versus evil. It's a story about, uh, about agency, about um, friendship. It's got a big heart. And in an age when watching the news is increasingly uh, agonizing, it's never uh, a bad time to be reminded that hope is real and, and it exists. And I, I cannot wait for audiences, both those who know and love Star Wars and those who are yet to love, know and love Star Wars, uh, to experience the work that these, these people here have done. Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, because I had worked on Mission Impossible and Star Trek, the idea of doing another sequel was at first uh, uh, not very appealing, but it, it, it was Star Wars. And the power of Star Wars for me was that it, it had such a different aura, such a different importance and, and power than anything else I could imagine. And it was a very difficult thing when I sat down with Kathy Kennedy, bless you, when I sat down with Kathy Kennedy, the producer, and we started talking about what the story could be. It was so delicious and it was so exciting to tell a brand new story about characters we had not met in a world that was so full of potential and so ultimately hopeful. Uh, so that was something that, uh, despite it being a sequel, it felt like there was a powerful and righteous and worthwhile story that just happened to exist in a world that had such incredible uh, comedy, uh, action, adventure, romance, drama, and it was too good of a, an opportunity to pass up. Um, the family idea was important because the, in Star Wars, whether it's a literal relationship, uh, whether you're the, the daughter of someone, the son of someone, um, the sister or brother of someone, uh, it's also about the family that you make. And it's about loyalty and friendship and sacrifice. And so family has been something that is at the, in the DNA of what Star Wars has always been, and you'll see that's the case here. I'm done. When we began to schedule the international press tour, uh, I asked to please uh, let me come back uh, to Korea. Uh, I'm so happy to be back. Uh, the press and the, the Korean audience has always been incredibly kind to and, and, and receptive to the stories I've been involved with. So uh, I'm just very grateful to be back. You're always incredibly uh, kind. Uh, you ask great questions. I'm just happy to be here with all of you. So thank you for your, your support uh, for Star Wars.
네, 스타워즈 깨어난 보스를 시작으로 해서 2019년까지 스페어 두 편을 포함해서 총 다섯 편의 스타워즈가 개봉할 예정입니다. 여러분들 많은